Hello YouTube, it's Uri Heat TV. Today I'll be making a vlog video. Oh, the sun is bright. <laughs> but, there we go. Today is June 3rd, 2017. Today's vlog, I got Selton's Rock. Okay. Where are we gonna go today? Ravina. Okay. On the back roads. We're gonna, we're gonna head to Ravina today to find some trains. I don't know what we're doing after that yet though. We're, we're just gonna play it by ear. So, however, I'm really hungry. So I think at some point we should get something to eat. Well, I'll consider the Taco Bell in, Glen in Glenmont or the Subway in Ravina. But it's also the Shop and Save, which is actually a good place to find some good drinks that you don't, that you don't typically see in the area. Since Ravina is near the town of Purchase, which I believe is in Greene County, if I'm correct. Purchase? No, Purchase is not even in Greene County. Purchase is like towards New York City. Now, do you know what, what county? It wouldn't be Clinton County. Clinton County is all the way up in the north. Now, Greene that, County, you're saying? Yeah, where is Purchase again? Purchase is way out to, towards New York City, right by Scarsdale. Like what county? Uh, I don't know the county. Well, it's past Poughkeepsie. I will take, I'll give that as an answer. Poughkeepsie's about 80, 80 miles south of us. So, not too far. Hour and a half. I could go, I could actually go there like right now. I've gone 47 miles since I got a full tank. It's actually about to hit 848 now. Yeah, I wish we went tonight. That would be awesome. Yeah. But I don't think your parents are going to let us. True. Because you're just, a, you're just a new driver. Yeah. Maybe with the exception later. I don't know if we're gonna do it yet today though. We'll see. Maybe go to Fonda if we can. Well, uh, I don't think they're a lot because that's like, if I'm doing the math right, I think it's about 50 miles. And I've done that before, just riding shotgun. It's, it didn't feel too bad, but you kind of get the idea. It wasn't exactly the shortest trip in the world. All right, I think, well, if we ask your parents politely, maybe we can go later. Perhaps. Cause, cause didn't you said earlier you might want to do like a planned trip a while, go to Ravina and then go all the way to Fonda? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a fun drive. Yeah, it would be. So, well, anyways, we got more to do. Okay guys, so where are we? We are now, I believe, in... <sighs> we just went through New Salem and Boysville. I think we are now heading in like... Delmar, maybe? Um, we're heading away from Delmar, but we're heading towards Bethlehem. Bethlehem's gonna be... South Bethlehem is actually gonna be one of the towns that we're gonna pass if we get to the place where we're gonna go. Which is... Ravina. New York, yeah. Queemans and Selkirk, actually, too. See a lot of cows. Actually, I came. Oh! <laughs> Yo! That's Minoya smelling. But actually, actually, I went to a game against Cairo Durham. If you saw my vlog like a few weeks ago, I took a bus and I went down this road. Went down it with the windows open on the bus. It smelled like, it smelled like I was in a porta potty when I went by. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! I know guys, we're not speeding. This is a 40 mile an hour speed limit, if you want proof. The speed is off by two miles an hour, so the speed has to be reading 42, if I'm gonna be doing 40. This is a very weird setup car. All the cars in our family are like that. Like in my dad's Subaru, it's off by one mile an hour, and in my mom's car, it's off by two, I believe, as well. And I just activated the cruise control. Yes, this car is from 1998, it still has it. And it still works. And it's a very cool car yeah. to go on the highway, yeah. right? And I cleaned it out too. Yeah, you really did. Look at my legs, they're long. And the, and the floor is clean. Clean as fuck. Last time it was like dirty. Roadkill. Ew. JK. JK, it was dirt. Yeah. This, this is a cool road. This is Stovepipe Road. Stovepipe Road, yeah. Yeah, this is a very fun road. I, mean, I like the view, right there. Beautiful. Yeah. There's the Heldberg Mountains. 
35 miles an hour now. And I just dropped speed. More farm. What do you know? Yep. And look at that house. That looks, looks so hillbilly. Look at it. I know, right? Who would, who would even live there? Actually, we're going to pass by another house on Terrytown Road. That is going to be even more rednecky. Where are we now, Alex? Uh, we just roadkill. This time it's roadkill. We just I just went right over the middle. I didn't I didn't run over it, but I just went right through the middle. Yeah, of it. it was already dead anyway. It was a dead yeah. raccoon. Oh, we're about to have fun. We're going to go down Plank Road. Plank Road? Yep, it's a dirt road. Damn. Oh. And if you know me very well, I love dirt roads. Bumpy. Where is that going to take us to? I've been down before in this car. It doesn't. Re it leads it to some small intersection. It's not exactly the biggest, but yeah. Imagine if someone even lived here. I think some people live down dirt roads, actually. Some do. Remember, um, do you remember, um, um, what is it? Oh, yeah, um, shit, um. I just, hit the, I just hit the brakes, but, um, but do you, um, oh, I see someone is living here. Yeah. Um, do you remember, um, you know, this, you know, this road reminds me of what that road, that small road we were on when we were in Poughkeepsie when we were like stuck or something. Oh yeah. But, but that was paved. This is dirt or no, no, this is gravel. Oh yeah. Uh, I remember the road. I remember the place. Um, perhaps Kenny Island. Remember that? Yeah. That, that place kicked up a lot of dirt when we went down it. Yeah, and it was that muddy that we had that, that, um, it was just so muddy that it looked like it was like a miniature truck or something that went on dirt roads or something like that. What's this? It's like a small creek, a like pond? I would say pond. A creek, it's almost like a little stream. Yeah, creeks are bigger than that. In the town where I live, there are a lot of creeks. I know, right? What's, the, what's that creek right by your house? I, um, I don't, I don't remember. Is it Fly Creek? Fly Creek, I don't think we'll pass through there. Yeah, that's right by Voorheesville. Yeah. That was just a rock cane in the undercarriage. There's a chicken right by the blue Chevy. Quack, quack. <laughs> One lane bridge. Oh. Thank, thank the Lord for ABS. Whoa, that's cool. I love upstate New York. I know, right? Best place in the world to be. That was a Boss 302 Mustang. That says posted private property. What? Private property. Private property. Where is this going to take us to? I don't know, but I don't know where it goes, so I'm going to do a three-point turn. I know how to do one. Obviously. You're, you're like an expert at driving. Are we taking the same road back now? Yep, because that's the only way I know. All right, well that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Why don't we stop here where I can take a picture? This is a public road. I'm not stopping in the middle of a, of a pu fucking public road. All right, so we were just on Plank Road and that was pretty cool. Yeah, oh. and we are now in the town of Fura Bush. F E. You are a bush. Fura. Yeah. We have one friend that lives there. And who is actually my ex, but we're still friends. We're not going to say the name, though. Right. But I just see you in the clip of when you went to the play at RCS, only like walking by in the background. Yep. You can make a clip down the road too. There's a cemetery. I wonder if Scooby and Shaggy are there. Uh oh, it's a gross. Look, 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 look. What? The house. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna go right. If I go left, I'll take us quicker. But my friend lives down this road, so I didn't want to go off to the right. Okay. All right. Yield and no one's coming. Yes, I'm looking. This is a nice street. Yeah, it is. It's called Lawson Lake Road. It's pretty fun. All right, well, anyways, we'll probably see you very soon. 
Check out Lawson Lake. Lawson Lake, man. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, wow. Upstate New York is gorgeous. Not in the winter. It's freezing in the winter. I've actually been down, I've actually been down this road several times in the winter. It is kind of a pile of snow, pretty much everywhere. But not the road. <laughs> What was that? Smoker's cough? No, I don't smoke. I yeah, he doesn't smoke, guys. I so thankfully. I just, I just have a tendency to cough sometimes. Oh, Lawson Lake County Park. There's a visitor. There's a visitor, visitor center right there. That building right there looks like a house. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we keep, keep the border, bro. Okay. And I just farted, by the way. That was a good, good one. You probably good here. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear it. It was silent, but could be deadly. Silent? What deadly? When do you want me to stop recording? Like when we get on to 32. How long was that gonna be? Probably like a minute and a half. This road actually does go up to Route 32. We can take that way to Greenville. All the way to Greenville, actually. If I were, if I were to go to Greenville, I would take 9W, because that's the one I'm more familiar with. Wait, you can take 9W to Greenville? I mean, can you? No. All right, we're now in Queenmans, New York now. So, we're on like this back road. I forgot what it's called. We're uh, we're heading towards the Alcove Reservoir. Yeah, that's where we're heading to right now. Using my phone for a GPS and it's a bit cracked. <laughs> because it hit the concrete. Yep, at my school and the concrete can suck my dick. Well, that's your problem, maybe because you got the phone. It's your bloody problem. Obviously. Whoa! <laughs> Damn! What is that? Is that the Alcor Reservoir? Yep. Holy crap! That is huge! That's bigger than I thought that would be. I thought it would be like a creek. Plus, hell, my friend is actually having a graduation party down, down by this area. You never know, we might pass by the house, but I don't know. Damn! Yeah. I'm glad we went. Yeah. We're on actually, uh, we're actually on route 143 east. Alright, we're now in this town called Queemans Hollow, and we're right at this place we just wanted to stop at. It's called the Paper Mills. It's like, here's the, here's a New York sign, City of New York, and this is like history. 1880, in 1818, Ephraim Andrews acquires cloth dressing and wool carding mills. By 1850, John E. Andrews establishes a straw paper mill making mill, William C. Pomeroy Foundation 2014. So this is quite cool. And here it comes out. So yeah, yeah, that's my whip over there. And there's the creek over there. Maybe we can check out that too. Actually this road that we're on actually goes towards um, Alcove. This is cool. But we're but we're just, but we, but we are, I believe, in Queemans Hollow. We are. I just said we were in Queemans Hollow. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're now at Star Road. We took a long journey just to check out some places. So, we're now we're going right by. It says, um, Town of Queemans right now. We just found like a tennis court, like a park. Yeah, something. And, it's, and that bay we were at you last time, was that in Queemans? Yes, it was. The exact town of Queemans? Yep, that's what it said. And wow. My, and, my, and one of my good friends when I met through Votech goes, lives, no, not goes, and lives in that town, just before the bay. That's cool. Yeah. He has a 90 Dodge D 
100. It's like a 1991? Yep. That's it's an, old. It's an old Dodge D100 or DW pickup truck. It's does not, he, does, have you been in it before? No, but I've seen it. Um, it's actually not made anymore. Those things are old trucks. That was basically like a smaller version of the Dodge Ram or like a more light duty version. So yeah. Ravina Queen Sulker area, it's not exactly the cleanest place in the world, so yeah. Alright, we are now I don't know where we are now, South Bethlehem? Yeah, we're in South Bethlehem now. We took like this weird road just to get to Ravina now. I don't know why we took this long to go to Ravina. Well, it's the only way I know, and I just didn't want to get lost, so besides the trip was worth it. It was. So, but yeah, keep it going because the road we're going to go on next is actually going to be kind of cool. We're about the Toronto Route 101. I think that actually leads up to 9W. Now we are in South Bethlehem. South Bethlehem. Bethlehem, New York. We don't. Well, you know, we have us we have ourselves a, an idiot who failed to fucking park the fucking right way. And what do you do when you call someone like that? And what do you do if someone does that? You call them fucking facts. Says Alex. Says you, who is a true fan. <laughs> yes, this road is 30 if you want to go it's so slow. And we have got a lot of basically like there's a lot of bug on the windshield. Hey, alright. I actually have bug bug removal windshield washer fluid in my car. Topped off, but I don't want to use it right now since because since the windows Look at are that. Open, That's a nice light. This is just a slow light. But I'm not gonna use the washer shirt right now because if you can see the windows well, I just saw the power plant. But I mean the windows are open and I don't want any washer fluid getting inside the window. And that stuff's sticky as fuck. Mm hmm Sticky as fucking bullshit. So you see that so you see that plant that, that power thing? Yeah, actually, it was a cement making plant. Yeah, we're really close to Ravina now. Yeah, we're only like two miles away. But now it's 45 miles Now an hour. it's 35. No, 45. No, it's just at 35 miles an hour on this. No, that's for this turn. The speed was actually 45. We passed the sign. Cool. What do you think of this road? Cool. What did I tell you? You, li you like going the back way, right? I do. Sweet, bro. But if we have, well, if we were in a rush to get trains or something, we would take the through way. Or we could take this road and go. If fast. we have, if we ever go to Fonda, we would, we would obviously take the through way. Or if you just want to be fun, you can take the back road the entire way. That would take a long time, though. But it'd be worth it. You get to see more stuff. Yeah, that would take like an hour and a half. Like, dude, that'd be like driving from my house to 7-Eleven in Springfield, Massachusetts. That'd be kind of fun to do, actually. It would be. Well, maybe we'll do that one day, but not, but not, I would take, but not I would, today. I would take 20 the whole way. Route 20. All Apparently, the way. Route 20, I heard, is the longest road in the country. It goes wow. all the way from Boston to a town over in California. 
No yep, joke. We're definitely at Coastal Ravina now. This is, there it is. It's a map plant. You can see the flashing lights. Yep. And I call that relatively from my friend, who is now my ex, cancer sick. And well, the Taiwan new new um, cancer sick. You can get the if you get the idea because it puts out steam. And the white one with flashing lights, nuclear launch tower, because that one looks a bit like a fucking rocket launcher. I know, right? Yeah. That looks like a giant penis. <laughs> oh. And you see those lights at the bottom? That is the football field at RCS, which we're actually going to pass right by in like 30 seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll cut through the parking. I'll go and cut through the parking lot. Whoa! Say what? That was the road that that we saw earlier, right by RCS. Yeah. Damn, there it is, RCS. We're gonna cut Ravina, through. Ravina, Queen, and Selkirk. Yeah, right here. We're gonna cut through. Okay. I actually went to see my ex's concert here one time back in December. I saw their production of My Fair Lady and Beauty and the Beast. When was that? March. Yep. That's when I had. That's when we had our play, our school, which was how to succeed in business. That was a week really after. That was a week. That was a week before our show. I was gonna go see this with my boy, but couldn't. Well, I didn't. Have, I it didn't was like the, last minute. Yeah, I didn't get the chance. Didn't think of it. Shit. But yeah, this is one really cool suit. This is the middle school, Ravine Queen and Circle Middle School. And that's small for a middle school. I've seen smaller. I think FMS is bigger than bigger than um than um that than that one. In RCS Middle School. And there's RCS the high school. High. To be honest, I don't think I would mind going here if I had to transfer. If I had to transfer to any school, this is what I would go to. And yes, you can do that. It's made to do that. Yep. Oh, I wonder what's going on there tonight. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's a football game. No, no football doesn't play around this this time. Actually some do. At GHS, some of them do. Wait, what's going on? All right, guys, we are now officially in Ravina. Right. So we are towards the main, the main streets area. A house. What kind of car is that? It's a it's a Toyota Venza. Venza. What kind of truck is that? Toyota Tacoma. You you know like every single car we go by. Pretty That's much. very impressive. Not everybody would know that. Sure. Only true car for the X-Wood. And there are only few of them in this world. We're actually gonna go right by my other friend's house. Lives down like by Peter B. Queenlands Elementary. That's, that's down, cool. that's just down this road. Yep. Well, here's here's our main spot to go rail fanning in Ravina. Magnolia Circle. Magnolia. Actually, what his friend and a friend of ours lives down that road too. Yep. Which I think is who your ex. Yeah. But we're not gonna give away the name. By privacy reasons, I suppose. I've done I've actually accelerated hard underneath that road before. House Tavern. I've heard of that place actually. You ever been there? No, but I've heard the food. I heard the. I heard the. The food there is pretty good. Never been there either, but I might be willing to try sometime. Yeah, maybe we'll do that on one of our rail fanning nights. Maybe. If your dad decides to come along. Perhaps. It's fun. It's pretty fun going with your dad too. Yeah, and here we are. We're about to go down to the Bay in Queens. My friend lives down this way, so if he's out, I'll say hi. That is actually a house. Legit. <laughs> He's huge for her house. I know, right? Was that a mansion? I honestly don't know. Alright guys, we actually spotted one train in Ravina. However, we didn't we didn't get a chance to record that one. We just literally just went on the New York State Thruway. So and going under a bridge now called Beaver Dam Road. That's a right in Selkirk. So we're actually just leaving Selkirk now. Um where are we heading now, Alex? Fonda. Oh That's yeah! Right in the Fonda, New York. 
That's not. That's gonna be like maybe 40 minutes. Uh, for Ravina, that's more like from this direction. That's probably gonna be more like 50 to an hour. Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here is one of the signs. Actually, pretty cool. Albany 6, Montreal 226, Buffalo 286. That's in miles, by the way. Because so, this is the United States, we go in miles. Yep, so see you in the next clip. We just made it. We're in Fonda, New York now. We just got the train. I think, I don't think it was a CSX though. No, it was a Union Pacific. We'll stay here for a little bit and try to find some more trains. Maybe. That one is heading to Ravina. Towards Ravina, yeah. yeah. Selkirk Rail Yard to be exact though. Does it go through Boysville first though? Uh, yeah. And Gillen Center, right? Yeah. And there you go. Thanks for the warning about the train. Alrighty guys, so Alex, where are we going now? Um, to Amsterdam, and we're on Route 5S. Pretty cool, we're on a bridge now. Yeah. That's and, pretty. And if you can see by the clock, it is 11.18 in the evening. Wow, it's late. It's yeah. mad late right now. Yeah, it is. But I'm turning on my light now, because um, what I, I am enjoying a Fountain form of Mountain Dew Code Red from Cromwell Farms. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. So, um, next we're gonna add something else in this clip. Now, in this vlog, I got Stack Shock 2000. He, I'm actually video chatting him right now in the car. Uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, he says Pepsi Fire is gross, and Pepsi oh, Fire is gross. I think it's like one of the worst sodas I've ever had. But guess what? We, guess what? Alex and I are now heading to Burger. Alex and I are now heading to Burger King in Amsterdam today, and we're actually we actually might try the Mac and Cheetos, and that sounds so gross. It's actually not Mac and Cheetos. It's just called the Cheetos um, Chicken Fries. No, no, there's actually Mac and Cheetos. I'm not. I'm not lying, dude. There's actually Mac and Cheetos. But, but he thinks that there's Cheeto chicken fries, but there's actually Mac and Cheetos. Mikey, um... Maybe we'll try the Fruit Loose Shake. I'm not sure yet, though. But he's the one that's paying because I'm because I need to save my money. So, um... Um... So... Can you tell the YouTubers what you might be doing in a couple of weeks, Stack Shock 2000? Um, you mean in a month? Well, in a few in a, in a few weeks, because it might be happening. It's it's already in June. Oh yeah, um, I might be going to my wish party, so I might be in that vlog, and then I might go to the six lines going on in the Springfield Massachusetts with you the day after. All right, so um. He actually might be coming out to my graduation party, and then um, next day after that, the next day after that, we may go to Six Flags New England together with Static Shock 2000. That'd be mad fun. Yeah, and, um, we, and I might come live before the graduation party. I can try to touch for his head. Yeah, I don't know if we can hear him very well because this is like it's it's like an in call, in call volume for the video chat. I don't know why. I think that's what it is with my phone, but 
we're just, we're just gonna leave you out of this vlog part, but it was great. It was great being in this vlog. I'm still gonna talk to you though, Mikey. So don't don't hang up. I'm still gonna talk to you. It's just it's just that um, we're just gonna end the vlog right here for this part. We'll see you got. We'll see you in the next clip. All right, Alex. Where are we now? Amsterdam, downtown Amsterdam. Wow, cool. This is definitely cool. Still enjoying that code red. Yeah. Mm -mm. I wish it was solar flare though. I would have been so happy if they were at solar flare. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it well, but I'm driving at five speed on the floor. And, and we're on an uphill. Here we go. Let's see what happens. No, I don't want my phone dropping because I got my friend Mikey on hold, so. Great, we gotta do another hill start. Damn, this hill is so steep. I've seen steeper. There's one in Syracuse that's very steep. Oh, I bet. Whoa, Woohoo! This is a big hill. It's on me. I have in second gear, and it's at 3,000 RPM. Now I'm gonna shift. Oh, and I think we're going right by the Stewart's now. We're gonna. Then we're gonna go by Fast Track, which will stop at after Burger King because it makes more sense to go to the furthest place first and then the closest. All right. Jeez, that guy needs to watch where he's going. I know, right? Dark clothes in a dark environment? What the fuck? Fast Track is huge. Yeah. I can't wait to go back there. Last time I was there was in like December or something. That's what it feels like. That's before I went to the, um, that's when I was, before I went to the concert at RCS in late December. All right. Um, well, we'll see you guys in the next clip. I told you they had Mac and Cheetos. Well, here we are, Burger King. What are you gonna get today, Alex? What's that? Okay. See Sorry about that. What can I get for you? It's fine. Um, can I get um a mac and Cheetos? Um, a large um chicken fries all right mac and cheeto and a chicken fry anything else um medium fries and a 10 piece chicken mcnuggets any talk uh nope anything else? mcnuggets yeah, that's it give me ten dollars okay thank you you're welcome dude this is burger king not mcdonald's i thought they were called mcnuggets <laughs> no that's McDonald's. <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me a wallet. Give me my wallet. Me. Wallet. Um, wallet? Yeah, my credit card's in there. Where is it? You had, you last had it. So... I'm personally a little nervous to try the the the, the, the mac and Cheetos. I've oh, heard from my buddy Noah. It's so nasty. All right, here we go. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Oh boy. All right guys, so I'm at, I'm at, I'm doing a drink right now. I'm at Fast Track right in Amsterdam. So last time I was there was like a year ago or something, like a year and a half ago. It's been a while. Let's see what they're gonna have today. Here we are, Fast Track. <laughs> now Sullivan Star doesn't really wanna go here. So he doesn't wanna do the drink run tonight, so it's just me. Ah, this is cool. Jones Soda and Fountain Form? That's pretty rare. So there's Berry Lemonade, Root Beer, Orange Cream, Green Apple, Kickstart, Kickstart Black Cherry, Pepsi, Dye Pepsi, Mountain Dew, 
sparkling ice, black raspberry, sparkling ice, cherry limeade. And this one has Coke, you, Sprite, cherry, Coke, Dr. Pepper, Diet, Dr. Pepper, Fast Energy? Huh. That's probably, that's probably for Fast Track. Powerade, Mountain Berry Blast, Hawaiian Punch, Pink Lemonade, and Arizona Arnold Palmer in a fountain form? This is quite strange. Oh, yes. Hydro. Hydro Monster. I've been trying to find this. What's this? Hydro Tropical Thunder. Probably get that. Uh, yeah, I'll get that today. Let's see what they have for Mountain Dew. My own. That code red in one liters. So here's Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain. There's Mountain Dew, you code red voltage, live wire, whiteout, and do SA. One liter bottle of Mountain Dew, and there's one liter bottle of code red. Pretty cool. Ginger Cola. They, oh, they still got strawberry kiwi. Cool. I might get that. Sprite Cherry, there's Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, there's Pepsi Cherry Vanilla, Pepsi Zero, formerly known as Pepsi Max, Diet, Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free, Diet Pepsi Wild Cherry, Stipe Ginger Ale, Mug Root Beer, Crushed Grape, Crushed Orange, Brisk Lemon Tea, Hawaiian Punch, Fruit Juicy Red, Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper, and that's pretty cool, pretty good selection. That's, they still got Lamy Kickstarter, that's nasty shit, but pretty much, pretty good selection. Well guys, I'm now officially home and, um, well, technically I'm at my house now, but Alex, any last words in this vlog? Well, enjoy your time. That was a lot of fun. Make sure to add some things in this vlog and upload it to my YouTube channel. Okay. Seeing it's on your phone, so... I had some pretty good quality today, so. You did. Wow, what a very long ass day. We went to Ravina. We didn't go to New Baltimore, though. We went to Ravina, then Fonda, New York. A little bit in Amsterdam. We didn't go to the Amtrak station, but we but we went to the Fast Track place, which is a gas station. Went to Burger King. Tried the Mac and Cheetos, but that's going to be on a separate video. Um. My stomach hurts right now, I think, probably from that or, like, or like all that greasy food I consumed in my body today. So, what a long day, man. But that was a lot of fun. So, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this vlog, guys. Hope to comment, subscribe below, and as always, peace. peace.